Here's another example of pattern 1. In this function, which is looking for the first positive integer, I'm specifying that data is not just simply a list which could be heterogeneous, but it's a list of integers. So this is the type hint for saying that this is in fact a homogeneous list. It's a list of integers. Now remember, type hinting is merely a hint. Nobody is going to stop you from actually calling this function with a heterogeneous list. But in this course, here is the convention you and I will adopt. If we have said that the parameter of a function has a certain type, then we will respect that type. So we are going to assume that this function is only called with a list of integers. By the way, this syntax is the syntax that's now used in the current versions of Python. In older versions of Python, including the version of Python that the CodeCheck website currently supports, we will see a slightly older syntax for indicating that it is a homogeneous list of integers. Anyway, this function is supposed to return the first positive int in data. So as an example, if we have these three integers, the first positive integer in this list, starting from the left end, is of course 3. So the doc test tells us that on this input, the expected answer is 3. The second doc test also tells us something very important that was not mentioned in this natural language statement. What if the list has no positive integers? So for example, what about this list? Well, in that case, this function returns 0. So given this information, the minute we come down here, our cursor is blinking here, our generative AI steps in and it suggests this code. I'm generally quite happy with this code. How does it work? Well, it examines each i in data. And if that i is greater than 0, it's a positive value, then we immediately return that i. Remember, we're not checking if this i really is an integer. We're supposed to find the first positive integer in data. But that's OK, because we are assuming that the list that's going to be given to us has only integers in it. So if that i is positive, we immediately return that i. We immediately uh, succeed. So again, this is iterate until success. And then what if we don't find any integer i that is positive? Well, this loop will finish. We will examine every item and then we will come to the statement outside the loop. And there we will return 0 as requested by this example. Now, there's one small thing that I don't like about this AI generated suggestion. I don't like the choice of this variable i. I would have preferred to call it something like item. And remember, it's important for you to choose uh, variable names that are meaningful. Here is another example of pattern 1. In this case, we are given a string s and we're supposed to find the first vowel in s. So again, as an example, in the string hello, the first vowel is e. And what if the string has no vowels? Well, in that case, let us say we want to return the empty string. So we will always return some string, either a string of length 1, which is the first vowel, or the empty string. So with this doc string and this doc test, our AI has suggested this code. Pause the video and see if you agree with this code.